um, I have heard about it in the news in the week a few days ago and um, what I was just thinking uh, we are raising kids here and we've been staying here for almost 12 years so what's going to happen you know if anything happens to our kids what how are we going to know that everything is fine here in Peru if they let him loose or let him stay here in Peru? What's going to happen with us and our children at the end of the day? No, it's not right. You must, you must stay there in prison. Well, how can you leave someone that must come out of prison who killed almost more than 22 people? It was not right. The government is corrupt me. Whoever is going to be released is going to be a danger. So it doesn't really matter where. My opinion to that is the community should stand together. The parents should stand together and they need to fight for their kids and protect the kids at all costs. I would say, according to me, as a man of God, I would say uh, everyone deserves a second chance. But then, uh, depending on the killings, oh, the killings was too much. So I wouldn't say I agree on this. Yes, I know you can say he's been rehabilitated, but you know that stigma that's attached to his name. Um, I think, yes, we can say we give everybody a second chance, but yet still, um, how, what are, how are we feeling as residents here in Paro? How must we feel? Um, I don't think they've asked us, you know, it's just been said that they're going to let him loose and he's going to stay here in Paro. So what about us? What about us? Uh, what about our voice that stays here in Paro at the end of the day? Hopefully it, it will be, they will do their work, what they must do, uh, to uh, watch me every time. And, but there was no, um, what do you call it, a man, uh, uh, that we can say something. It was just done. So we, we there was no say to, to, to that.